everyone, it's me. I'm Katie Richardson. I am the musical director for Six at the Arts Theatre, and I'm going to be doing some vocal warm ups with you today, um, Six style. So uh, I'm just going to wait for a couple of minutes while we wait for people to um, join the live. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself and a bit about the show. So um, as I said, I'm Katie. I'm a musical director and a pianist, um, and I'm currently the musical director for Six at the Arts Theatre and the UK Associate Musical Supervisor for Six. Um, I went to Leeds University and I read music and then I went to Mount View and did the musical direction course and since then I've been working as an MD uh, and just to tell you a little bit about Six while we're waiting for some more people to join the live in case you haven't seen it um, it is a musical about the Six Wives of Henry VIII um, as though they came back to life formed a girl band and get to tell the story from their point of view because we remember them all as the wives of Henry VIII but maybe you don't remember that much about them as people so it's the six queens we've got Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anna of Cleves, Catherine Howard and Catherine Parr they're the six queens and they are in a gal band and they are taking the opportunity to tell their story from their point of view so that's six um it is at the Arts Theatre, we'll be back there soon, it's also on UK tour um, and yeah, I'm just waiting for a couple more minutes while more people join the live. Um, so I've been involved with SIX for the past almost two years actually and um, basically since um, we did the first UK tour in 2018 and I was involved with it at the Edinburgh Fringe that year and then was lucky enough to come back to it when it came back to the West End uh last year so um i play a character called joan who is the musical director and also the keys player um and is also a lady in waiting um and the other lady and ladies in waiting also have character names so they are bessie on the bass maggie on guitar and maria on the drums um and the reason they have those names is because they are named after the real ladies in waiting that the queens had so that's a little bit about six um, it leans heavily on a lot of pop music styles rather than musical theatre styles so we're really heavily inspired by real life pop queens such as Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga um, and so that's the singing style and that's the uh, what my warm-up is tailored towards. Um, so I think we should be ready to go now. I'm just seeing how long I've been on here for. Yeah, um, hopefully I'll have a few more people joining the live. So I'm going to be taking you through a warm up today um whilst i'm still talking a little bit as we're waiting just make sure you're physically warm if you're not already so maybe do a couple of star jumps or have a little jog on the spot i'm not going to grace the live with myself doing that but make sure you're free to do that and um, so your body's nice and warm um and we'll do a couple of shoulder rolls shoulder rolls backwards um so i think we're just about ready hope you're all nice and warm so um just to reiterate, I'm Katie Richardson and I'm the musical director for Six at the Arts Theatre and I'm going to be taking you through the warm up we do with the Queens before the show. So first of all, just to centre yourself and get your breath nice and ready, we're going to do a couple of long out breaths on a shh sound as though you're shushing a child or whatever. So big breath in and then out on a shh and just keep going until you run out of air. And then another one. Nice, so you run out of there and then let your ab muscles go and back in. Last one. Gorgeous. So obviously you're a bit, hopefully you're a bit more centered now and um, your breath is a little bit warmed up. So we're just going to do a few gentle warm ups. And what we're trying to do at six is gentle warm ups, nice and simple, just to get the voice warm, but to not tire it out because it's a real big sing in a pop style. So we don't want to be tiring out the vocals. We just want to be re getting them ready to go. So um, next thing we're going to do is just some humming like this. Just a five note scale. Last one. 
internally and just going to turn my piano up a little bit there. Um, so that's keeping it nice and quiet, not pushing it out, just letting the voice slowly, slowly warm up. Similar thing, we're going to do this with a like for bars, but keeping it nice and quiet. So. So don't worry if that was getting a little bit high at the end, it was for me as well. <laughs> um, just giving the chance for those higher voices to get theirs warmed up as well. So next thing, um, we always sing a, uh, a really famous melody, a lyrical med melody. So we either do I Can't Help Falling In Love With You by Elvis Presley um, and through several different vowel sounds, or we do the one we're going to do today because I thought it was more appropriate, which is Somewhere Over The Rainbow. Um, now we all know the tune to that, we're not going to sing the words, we're just going to use vowel sounds, so we're going to go on a natural siren, which is NG, so you've just said the word sing, that sound, just the tune of Over the Rainbow, but nice and choppy, so... So that's the nice lyrical song we always do. Um, and I think next we'll do a little siren. So you can choose whatever sound you like. It can be an mm, it can be an E, whatever. I'm gonna go with a like a literal. Um, and a siren is just like a police, police siren. So you start near the bottom of your range and slide all the way up to near the top of your range and all the way back down, but don't push it, we're still warming up. So felt really attractive doing that. Everyone else have a go. Whatever sound you like, it can be an E, it can be an NG like we use the natural siren, it can be a literal like I did, or if you can roll your R's, tongue chill, or whatever. Um, gorge. Okay, so next we've warmed up our range a little bit. So we're now gonna do some consonant warm-ups. Um, I like to do this warm-up. I don't think it really has a name. I call it Mame Mimo. And what we do is we use those sounds, ma, me, me more singing a minor arpeggio which I will show you and then through the warm-up we double the, the consonants triple the consonants and quadruple but it makes more sense to play it so it goes I know a lot of different people end that on a different consonant, so like a different vowel, I mean, so ma or more, whatever. At six, we end on mu. I don't know why, it's just a thing that we do, so <laughs> that's why I'm going with it today. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but change the consonant, so let's do it with a ta. One, two, three, four, ta.
Is a, is a tricky one. The, the queens don't love doing that one. Um, I've just got a question that I'm coming to look at. Question from Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. What training did you do to become an MD? Um, so I um, played piano from a really young age, but the MD specific training I did was at Mount View Academy of Theatre Arts. I did the musical direction um, PG dip. Um, and that's a MA now, I think. And basically, that was a vocational course at Mount View, um, working with musical theatre students and tutors, um, and learning the practical skills like improving my sight reading, learning conducting, um, learning keyboard programming, uh, learning um, some vocal technique, etc. Uh, and yeah, that was for one year, and it was amazing. Just a year's practical vocational course. Um, so that's the MD specific training I did. Um, yeah, and I loved it, really recommend it. There's a lot of different schools that do them now. It's certainly not the only way to do MDing, but that's what I did and I found it really fun and really beneficial. Um, okay, so we've warmed up our consonants. Um, let's now do, uh, okay, we'll do this one, um, which is another little range warm up. Um, um, so the, the note pattern is gonna be this. And the vowels are e a o. Um, but what we're going to try and do is keep the outside of your mouth still, including your lips, and change vowel sound moving the inside of your mouth. Like so, you sound a bit funny. Like e a o. You can't quite not move your lips. So try your best. What you have to say? I think um, I've got one more warm up to do with you now, which is um, a more of a brain warm up. But before we do that, just take one more siren uh, in your own time, whatever sound you like, just to see how your voice is doing today. And I always say this, just check in with your voice. Um, some days it will be better than others and that's fine. Just need to check in and, um, and take stock of what it's like that day. Um, so last warm up, um, that I'm going to do and this is as I said a brain warm-up 
uh, you might have done before the one, two, three, four, five song. So that's one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, and so on. And then you keep going, looping that, but you always say the numbers in order, one, two, three, four, five, and sometimes you trip over, et cetera, et cetera. But um, we've done that quite a lot. Uh, at six and it gets a bit easy so I changed it to a b c d e still easy um some people do it with words danger men at work but to really keep the queens on their toes uh, I try to change the phrase every day which means you have to use your brain every day and you can't just learn the pattern <clears throat> so today I thought we'd do a, an appropriate one which is um the words we're going to use are London theatre so appropriate now i've practiced this um, and i went a bit wrong so hopefully we're gonna <laughs> i'm gonna do better today but it's that tune and the thing you have to remember is you always have to say the words london theater in that order but you can start on a different syllable each time um as and i will show you it'll make more sense as i do it so i'm going to do it slowly for myself because it's tricky here we go so after four <clears throat> one two three four london theater me or do the words stop having any meaning after you've done that a few times <clears throat> so anyway that should have woken your brains up for the day um and got your uh brain engaged to work and to think about singing oh i've just got another question uh how long have you been involved with six and how did you get involved just answer this one quickly so um i've been involved with six for almost two years now um, i got involved for the uk tour in 2018 um which is um kind of the, sh the after the workshop production after the student production it's kind of the show as we know it and um, with the costumes as they are now etc etc um and i got involved because joe baton the musical supervisor um sent me an email saying that they were recruiting for a musical director and i've been recommended um and would i please um have a telephone interview so i did and i was lucky enough to be offered the job hi joe miss you um yeah so that's how i got it really um, kind of like any normal job, I suppose, telephone interview. Um, but yeah, it was kind of one of the best things that ever happened to me. I feel very lucky to be involved. So yeah, that's how I got involved. Um, so that's my warm up. Hopefully your voices are feeling nice and warm. As I said, we keep the voices, the warm ups at six, nice and gentle, nice and simple, because you might only have one top belt note that day and you don't want to sing it in your warm up. You want to save it for the performance. Um, so that's what we do. And um, I've been Katie Richardson. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Katie RR, Katie with a Y, that is K A T Y R R, um, or on Instagram, which is Katie R Richardson. Um, my website is www.katierichardsonmd.com. Um, yeah, that's all. I've been Katie Richardson. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and this has been How to Warm Up Like a Queen. All right. <laughs>